video, we will be building Journey to the Skull Dungeons. So yeah, let's get right into it. So before we open the box, we're gonna tell you a little information about yeah, it. Yeah, so uh, it is for seven and up. Well, it, I'm seven, I'm almost eight. It is uh, set seven, one, seven, 17. It is called Journey to the Skull Dungeons. It has, 100, it has 401 pieces. And it is a building toy. toy. Yeah, you should know that. Yeah. Okay. So, no, open the box. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna build a bag. She's gonna build a bag. I'm gonna build a bag. She's gonna build a bag. It's gonna be really fun to build. Here, do you need my help? Okay, so I can it's open it. It's pretty hard to open. I know, sometimes like I feel that and I say that in a lot of my videos. Okay, this is the right tool. Oh boy, oh, let's see what she comes back. Ooh. Scissors. Boring, On the right? tape. Oh, sorry guys, oh, I just ripped the box, but hey, it's a little bit. down myself. So it has bag, Two. bag, Three. bag, oh, it's whoa, whoa, <laughs> and the kids got free. Booklet, stickers, and that's it. So yeah, we'll see you when we're done. Oh wait, no, no um, he's gonna build two. I'm gonna build one. Yes. Awesome. See you when we're done. Sets. It's really cool. So before we get into the actual set, you know what it, time it is. Minifigure time. So first we have Mert, and he's really cool. So And he's one of the goblins, I guess. And then he has a brother, or someone who looks like his brother. His name is Mo, and he just comes without the armor. So pretty easy. So if you wanted to have Mo instead of Mert, you just take that off. He has some really good green detailing. And next we have Hero Nia. She's really cool, a bunch of glow, and all the ninja have shields and their own weapon. And they also have their normal faces. And next we have Hero Lloyd. And so he is really cool. He has a sword and a shield. And then he has some cool armor. All the ninja have the armor. Then we have some. He has, Jay has some dark. Pants, which are, which are probably my favorite minifigure part and all that. So, yeah. Now let's get to this. Or I guess not really. Because we are going to work on the spinner. So, this is a spinner for the board game. And I'll teach you how to play the board game. I don't know if it's the right way, but it's how I play it. And this is just a little part. You could either use it as spinjitsu or as a game player. Or as, part, or as a game spinner. So, yeah. 
So what you do is grab this, and then you go, Ninja, go! Whoa, he spins, he spins, he spins, and fails. So that is really cool. So let's first show you the effects of the set, and then I'll teach you how to play it my way. So here we, we have like where they walk up for the board game, take their steps. Then you have this area. So if they land on this, it explodes. So that was very weak, I mean. So now this is what explode means. Woo! And so that is a really fun part. Then we have a little spider. And then we have a little cage here that you can move up and down by twisting this. You can put a ninja or merch or in there. And then you have a little stew pot with a... Uh, and the stew is cooking up bones. And then we have a sword, like the black sword. I believe they're called skull swords. So that's what I call them. In there, I don't know if you can see, but there's a red gem. And then on the back, oh yeah, this is like a snake tail. And then here we have stairs. Oh yeah, I forgot. You have to go up those. Then you reach the sword. And then you have a little crystal, a little bed. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me get on and tell you how to play the set. So of course, if you get all a bunch of the these sets, then you can connect them. So one, well, how I think of it is is that you have these three characters. They it's like you can pick a character to play as your guy, and one of them, or I guess you can get any mini figure to be the spinner. So what you do? Oh yeah, and I forgot to serve you. I got no clue what this is, but it comes with it. So you spin. Then, so I landed on one. So Lloyd would move one space. And, and there's a three space, or a two space, and a three space. So they jump. And then if you sadly land on this one, what happens is you explode and go in jail. And you're out of the game. Then, so you keep on having to jump up. And I guess the first one to get here and get the sword is the winner. So I believe that's how you play. Don't don't play it if it makes sense because it can get a little confusing. But if you do find out the right way, that's awesome. So before we end this video, I am just going to show you how to connect. If you have like Wu's Battle Dragon and this, you can connect them. So yeah, I'll see you after that. This is what it looks like with Wu's Battle Dragon and the uh, the Journey to Skull Dungeons. And it is really cool because you have these guys fighting with the two Skull Swords and then the J-Trap like last time. And then you have Nia and Mert fighting. Then you have Sensei running. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. So yeah, I think that'll probably be wrapping up today's video, guys. Bye-bye!